Hi! So today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to do the makeup for Miley Cyrus, uh, aka Ronnie, in the movie The Last Song. So I loved that movie so much. I mean, Miley's just so beautiful, her face and her makeup and how natural it is and her hair is so natural. So I kind of did my hair like that, I don't know, it didn't really come out. But um, I'm just going to focus on the makeup today. So Miley, she takes really good care of her skin. So before you do any of this, wash your face really thoroughly. I used Noxzema. I don't have it with me right here, but I use Noxzema. You can get it at the drugstore or you can get it at Target. Um, she also wears a sunscreen because it was really hot out there. So if you're going to school and you go to an outside school and it's hot where you are, then you should probably use a sunscreen. So I use a new Solar Advise and it's SPF 30. And I usually just take a tiny bit and I just apply it on my cheeks and my nose and wherever I know I get sunburns really badly. So I usually I usually tan but just to be safe because you know skin cancer and stuff. So you're just gonna apply that all over the place. Okay. So then she is wearing a tinted moisturizer. Now if you have really light skin a tinted moisturizer always has to match your face, like your skin tone. So, this is an SPF 20. It's Tarte. I got it at Sephora. It's really good for your skin. It has no mineral oil, and it so your face won't get oily, and it doesn't look cloudy because it blends in right with your skin if you go if you pick the right shade. So when I went in there, I just asked a lady who works there and was like, oh, I need one of these, and which one would match my skin tone, and she picked the perfect one. So I use this every day, and it's really good for my skin because it's an SPF 20, and I just apply it all over my face. The thing about this, if you get, if you get a color that does not match your skin tone, I know you want to be tan and dark like she was in the movie, but you have to pick one that goes with your skin tone because you can get lines right here and then your face is a different color than your neck and it looks really weird trust me I've done it before so what you're gonna do is just get like a little spongy thing like this to apply it with I mean of course you can apply it with your fingers but sometimes it comes out cloudy so you're just going to put a little bit on here like this and you're just going to apply it all over your side of the cheek and make sure you get your cheekbone and just really blend it underneath there under your and near your hairline just blend it really nicely there and then you're going to get your nose and get in the creases of your nose you don't want any places to be like to be like different colors and then you're going to do it to this side of your face and do the same thing blend it in with your hairline it's it's really embarrassing if you don't blend it in well enough because you can see it and the work and the thing that's worse is that everybody else can see it so that's why it's always really embarrassing when I see girls at school and they have a bunch of like it's all cloudy and it's really weird looking. I know it hasn't changed the color of my face now, but by the end of this, you will see a change in my face. And you just want to get everywhere so that it's nice and even with your skin tone. So, usually, what you can use, there's a lot of good Jergen brands out there. And um, they have some, also some tinted moisturizers. They're actually like um, progressive tinted moisturizers. You can put them on, and I usually use that. You can buy them at Rite Aid and Walgreens, and you just apply them daily. They're just daily moisturizers, 
and by the end of the week, your skin is darker. And you should also always remember to apply it to your neck so that you don't have a different color than your neck. So, next thing we're going to do is, so she has a really natural look. So as you can see, I put on my tinted moisturizer. And for her eyes, she has a very natural color. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use my MAC. It's a very nude color. It's just a very nude color. And I'm just going to take a MAC brush. And I'm just going to dust off the excess and just apply it to my lid. You want light eyes, but you don't want to make it look like you're wearing so much makeup. And do that to the other side. And just apply it to your eyelid. This next color, if you can see, it's this one in the corner right here. It's a really nude color. It's like a neutral color for up here. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that, just off the excess, and I'm just going to apply it to the top so that it's really natural looking. And it just really blends in with my eyelids so I don't look like, it's a very like, you can wear this every day too, and you won't feel naked on your face like you're like wearing not enough makeup. So now what we're going to do is we are going to apply the mascara. So there's a lot of different options for mascara for me. Um, I can use the Lash Blast Volume. This one's really light. It makes your eyelashes look really pretty. Um, this one is more of a, it's the one by one volume express and it's more of a harsh look with your eyelashes. Um, or you have the nature, nature Lux cover girl. That one works really, really well too. Um, so for this one, I'm going to use my cover girl lash blast. So what you're going to do is you're just going to apply it to your outer lashes just make them really light and feathery you don't want to apply too much because if you do then it won't look as natural and if you have naturally um, long eyelashes this is really good you can apply a bit of a darker coat if your eyelashes are short. So just your outer lashes. Of course you could do it to your inner lashes, but then it wouldn't be as natural at all. So now I'm going to take my Nature Lux mascara and I'm just going to apply a little bit to my outer lashes. So as you can see, it's a really, really natural look. My eyes are very neutral. My mascara is not too long, but it's just long enough. So, for our final step, you can use, an, in the movie, she has a bronzer on, and it's pretty much all over her face. The tinted moisturizer does help a lot, but the bronzer is pretty much the base of it. So she uses a bronzer, and then she puts on a very light blush. So, my bronzer, is Hula Benefit. I got it at Sephora. Um, I can't I can't remember how much it was, but 
it wasn't that much. I think it was around 30 or 25. And this brush, it's just a Bare Essentials brush. And I believe this one was about $40 for this brush. It works so well for this bronzer. So you're just going to get a little bit and you're going to dust off the excess and then you're just going to make a three on your face and before you do that you need to make a fish face or else it'll come off smutty. And do the same to the other side. And it is kind of a dark look, just around the cheeks. The look I'm doing right now is the look that she has um, most of the day she's at her dad's house. If anybody requests it, I will do the look when she first arrives at her dad's house in those cool combat boots where she has her hair on the side of her and it's it's really cute I love that I love it so much so you pretty much have a natural look here and then what you're going to do is you're going to take some more and you're going to just run it over your forehead like this so that it doesn't look like just half of your face is that and then you're gonna run it up and down your nose and then take a little bit more and do the exact same thing because she is very tan in the movie and this is a very tan look so I think it is you have to have a tinted moisturizer or else your bronzer will have nothing to stick to and then it'll fade away and start to look really pink so for this blush look, I'm going to be using a really peachy pink that I got at Walgreens. It's just, it's really subtle, it's really peach. I'm just going to use this really, really cheap brush that I got at Walgreens like 30 years ago. Um, and I'm just going to brush off the excess, and you're going to smile and just put it all around your apples. So it's really natural looking. So it is all done and I know it doesn't look like much but it really is a lot and it looks really pretty during the summer and like I said if you want a darker look you can do the Jergens look and that is just a daily moisturizer that makes your face a lot darker. And if you do that, you can get a darker tinted moisturizer, but you need to stick to it and keep doing it every day so that your tinted moisturizer doesn't start to look too drastic on your face because she does have a really natural look. So that is my tutorial on how to do the makeup for Ronnie in the last song. Thank you for watching.